In April of 1912, the Titanic sank in the Atlantic Ocean, killing 1,500 people. Five months later, there was another tragedy in the Atlantic when the airship Akron blew up, claiming the lives of five crew members. One historical artifact survived that explosion. And as Summit County Bureau reporter Bob Jones reports, today it was donated to the Smithsonian. The spirit of Goodyear wasn't the only impressive sight inside the Suffield hangar today. Sitting in its gigantic shadow was this 27-foot-long, 100-year-old mahogany lifeboat with quite a story to tell. The only thing that survived from that accident in 1912 was the lifeboat. Here's an old photograph of the lifeboat attached to the airship Akron. This was the first time Goodyear built an envelope, the big baggy part for an airship, known today as a blimp. That was our first airship, serial number D1. And to give you an idea what that means, our most recent airship, Spirit of Innovation in Florida, is serial number D654. But the Akron was lost at sea when the hydrogen-filled airship exploded while trying to make a transatlantic flight. Remarkably, the lifeboat held strong and was found in one piece. I understand it was recovered in some shallow water, uh, but at any rate, uh, it, Goodyear obviously uh, uh, cleaned it up some and, and put it into storage. And that's where it remained for nearly 100 years, until Jared Heron contacted the head curator of the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. Put out the inquiries that if he would be interested in it, and naturally I knew that he would because of the notoriety of the boat. The Smithsonian agreed to take it, and today Goodyear said so long to the lifeboat. You don't like to let uh, mementos go. Uh, we all like to hang on to the things that are dear to us. But it's going to a better place, as they say. In Suffield, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.